There are some divisions like um, antennas and diggers and skip bins that tend to be very high earners. Um, the only concern about that is that there are also divisions which are very dependent on the leads coming in. So they can be very, very, very good earners They make a lot of money, at the same time work is a little bit more erratic. The thing about divisions like mowing and cleaning and dog wash and those kinds of divisions is your hourly rates may not be quite as high but the work is a lot more steady and regular and also there's a lot more opportunity to do things like splits and put employees on and so forth so it, it really is horses for courses look as i would say to anybody who asks me that question it's not the right question to ask don't think of how where you can make the most money but what do you want to do with your life what do you enjoy do you love cars car detailing is fantastic do you love dogs love animals, then dog wash. Do you like being outside gardening? Mowing is great. Do you like electrical stuff? Well, something like antennas is, is, is a great division, or test and tag for people who are more technically minded. So look at what you want to do with your life, and then the money will tend to follow that. If you love what you do, you'll tend to make the most money. If you can buy an established business, especially one with regular clients, it's great. It's a great start. We just do know that a franchisee who starts off with 60 clients already, they're already making $1,200, $1,500 per week in their first week, actually finds it easier to get through that initial phase. And the point about too, when you've got regular clients, because of these things that we call splits, which just means you can build your customer base up and split off areas, you can capitalize down the track anyway. So I would say, unless the price is ridiculous, if you've got a choice between a new franchise, there's a paperwork guarantee, you, you know, you're know, gonna make some money. But if you have a choice between that and an established business, I'd always buy the established business.